Hey, welcome to the Toadstead. Well, here we are working on the big garage style door in the front of the Toadstead. And uh, I think the last video I showed you, we just had the panels here put up. And, uh, well, we've come a little further. And just some of the highlights is, uh, oh, highlights is, highlights are these side rails. And they're just screwed into the 2x6 there on the side. Let's take a closer look. And as you can see, we just used the, the mounts that were already attached. and We have them lag bolted right into that framing. Now here you can see how it all went together as far as the, the second piece is right here, screwed on right there, and this piece was also attached, screwed on right there, and it comes back and reinforces the rest of it. This hinge piece, or excuse me, the part where the roller is, this is adjustable, that roller can go back and forth. And the rest of these are just a little bit loose. And it's the same on both sides. Now up there in the center, you can see one of the two uh, springs that aid in bringing it up. And you can see the fitting. In fact, let me back up just a little bit, maybe get more light on it. It's rather hard to see. That's just a 2x6 attached to the, uh, the upright right here. And then that part is screwed in. Now, let's get a little closer and I'll show you one of the changes that I made. There we are. Now, when you wind up these springs, there is a lot of tension on there. I don't know if that's too dark because it's so bright outside. But uh, if you can see it, it's hard for me to tell. Some of these are red. This one here and the one that will be under here is red. And that's just a warning that this piece, the other spring's going to go here. This piece is going to be under a lot of tension because you're actually going to wind these up by hand. These are what assist the door to open. Now, one of the things they tell you about is to go ahead and, uh, you know, put these in, you know, real strong wood, blah, 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 blah. I'm not going to mess around. If you look, there's two rows of screws for a total of four. Now, these two red ones will be in the actual wood. These two, I'm going to drill through completely through this metal upright and use carriage bolts from the other side. And that should be plenty strong to hold that. At least I won't have to worry about those springs popping. Now, one of the problems I ran into when doing this was, well, like I told you before, these springs up here, that one there, and there'll be another longer one here. Um, the missing spring is not there because the supplier gave me the wrong one. These springs twist. You'll see in a later video. But they basically gave me two right-handed springs instead of a left and a right. So I'm waiting. I have to wait to get that taken care of before I can move on. But I'm taking this as far as I can go and showing you as far as I've gotten. And the last thing I'm going to do today... Actually, let's look over on this side. If you look... Right up here, you'll see a little strut right there. And those are, that's the beginning of what's going to stabilize. This bar right here is what the door hangs on while it's open. And of course, not only does it have to be square, but it has to have, be able to support the weight of the door. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, finish up those. And, you know, showing you those when they're done and uh, winding up and finishing up and hopefully opening up the door is what we'll do next time around and we'll wrap this phase up. All right, y'all. Thanks a lot for coming along. We'll see you next time around.